Hey, welcome back, everybody. You just caught me in the middle of an intense Chuck Norris workout. Yeah, that's right, folks. I said an intense Chuck Norris workout. Let me tell you something, everybody. I just got off the phone with my boy, Chuck Norris himself. Said he loved the last video, but there was one problem with the last video, and I'll tell you what it was. When you're going to get into an extreme Chuck Norris workout, what you have to do is get into extreme Chuck Norris wear. You got to get yourself ready to fight like Chuck. So what you need to do, folks, go out and get yourself a nice cowboy polo, tractor supply, Walmart might even have it. You got to get yourself a belt. I got a huge belt buckle. It's in the mail. It's on the way. Chuck's sending it from Texas. I got a cowboy hat coming. I'm growing my Chuck beard, everybody. Do you like the Chuck beard? I'm growing it. And you got to get yourself some jeans and cowboy boots. Oh, yeah. You don't have to fight in a gi to be tough. You don't have to put on a karate ninja suit. Just get your jeans, get your shirt, get yourself a hat and a beard. Bam, you're Chuck North. Practice the moves I've been teaching you, folks. Listen, I've heard a lot of stuff about my last video. Everyone said, this is a joke. It's so funny. You ain't got no skills. Let me tell you something. Does this look like a joke? Serious, folks. This is a serious business. This is ser serious. I got right here. I'm getting ready to call one of the people that decided to say the moves were weak. One person. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah. Hey, I want you to come over. I got some pizza. Yeah, some pizza. We're going to have a good time. We're going to eat some pizza and have a good time. All right, I'll see you when you get here. Okay, I'm off the phone. Let me move you to another area of the training room, okay? This is the area I call extreme training. Extreme training. Training. Let me get everything right here, folks. I want to make sure you can check out the extreme training. Now, here's what's going to happen. I'm just going to take any item, and I'm going to use it as a weapon. You have to be able to use your surroundings, folks. If you want to be ah, like Chuck Norris, you got to use your surroundings. Look, basketball, bam, no, weapon of mass destruction. Weapon of mass destruction. You got a kid's toy, bam, take it off. Bam, 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 bam. You can kill somebody with that, folks. You can kill somebody with a child's toy. Say you're in your house. You're walking around. You're in your night clothes, your night slippers. You get attacked by a band of ninjas. Boom, right here. That's a slipper, folks. Hey! Slipper, dangerous. You don't have anything else but some apples. You got apples? Good. Use them as a weapon. Slam! Throw them. Anything. Sitting around with the kids, watching yourself a little Ninja Turtles. You got a band of robbers coming into your house. Booyah! Ninja robbers, let's say you're sitting around the house and you're sweeping. And all of a sudden, you get a gang come to rob your house and steal all your money. What do you do? You don't continue to sweep. Hey, you use your broom as a weapon. Somebody's here. Hold on. I think it's the guy I called. Let's see. Come in. Where's the delivery? It's not delivery! It's Chuck Shorto! Ah! Oh, whoa! Massive destruction, folks! Did you see that? All I did was use the normal pizza box and I destroyed the enemy. Did you see that? Now listen, that normal pizza box might not totally destroy your enemy if they decide to get back up. This is a perfect time. <laughs> Perfect time to use the Redneck Roundhouse! Oh, yeah. Redneck Roundhouse, folks! I told you, these moves were deadly and they are destructive! It's not delivery, folks. It's Chuck Joyno. Here's a kick. And everybody. Oh, yeah.